Assuming the rate of HIV infection among sexually active heterosexual Hispanic or white males is 0.000163, what is the probability that among 70 randomly selected Hispanic or white males that at least one has HIV? Okay, so I've highlighted some important phrases in the problem that will help us determine what method to use to solve the problem. So clearly probability indicates it's a probability question. The fact that we're going to be selecting 70 different individuals means we'll be using multiplication rule at some point to solve the problem. And then we have this phrase at least one, which is going to indicate a particular technique that's going to make the problem much more manageable. So let's write a probability statement out to start. We'll have the probability of at least one person has HIV out of the group of 70. So one, at least one has HIV. Well, whenever you have this phrase, at least one, in a problem, you can evaluate the problem by solving this particular expression, one minus the probability of none. So see how that rhymes, at least one, one minus the probability of none. And then just fill in whatever you put here. So in this case, we'll say none have HIV. Well, the one is just a constant, so we'll just rewrite that. To get the probability that none have HIV, we're going to think about the fact that we'll have 70 spaces of probability, or 70 probabilities multiplied together, a probability for each person selected. So we'll have one probability, another probability, another probability. But of course, we can't write out 70 spaces, so I'm just going to put dot, dot, dot to indicate that this is going to go on 70 times. So just remember that we have 70 of these spaces in theory. Now, what's going to go into these spaces though? What will I put there? Well, this first space represents the probability of the first person selected, right? First person selected. And what is going to happen with that first person? Well, the first person selected, in this case, we want none of these individuals to have HIV in this probability. So we're going to say the first person selected uh, does not have HIV, or you can say is HIV free. Right? Whatever conveys that general idea that we want this individual to not have the illness. And that's the probability we need to put there. Well, we don't know the probability that a person doesn't have it, but we do know the probability that a person from this group does have the disease. So if the probability of having HIV in this select group is equal to 0.000163, then how do I know the probability that a person doesn't have it, right? So to figure that out, I'm going to put a little bar on top of the HIV notation that says not HIV. This is the probability the person does not have HIV. And then we just do 1 minus this probability. So when we work that out, we end up getting the answer 0.999837. So that is the probability a person in this group does not have the disease. Okay, so that's the probability that the first person selected doesn't have it, so we'll just put that in. Now we're going to assume that these individuals are independent of one another, so the chance the second person doesn't have it, it's going to be the same thing. And then of course the chance the third person doesn't have it, it'll be the same thing. So we're just basically going to have 70 of these in here, right? And so essentially what we have to do to solve the problem is just do 1 minus this value to the 70th power. So that means it'll be 1 minus 0.999837 to the 70th power. And let's evaluate that and see what it comes out to. So I have 1 minus 0.999837 raised to the 70th power. And when we're done, we get 0 0.01134, or basically 1.1% roughly. 0, 1, 1, 3. And that's it.